going on with y'all? It's Jeff Lightsey Jr. here with the Ball Sports Network, and we are getting closer and closer to the return of the NBA, which is scheduled to take place July 30th. And I, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm reading these reports, and I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it is not looking good for that return day. And just simply because, obviously, for the world pandemic that's taking place, the COVID-19. And if you go through just off some of the tweets and the reports that are coming out today of players being diagnosed with coronavirus, players breaking, you know, walking outside the bubble, getting having to quarantine for 14 and 10 days, and some guys, some of the superstars, like big name guys, haven't even made it down to Orlando yet. Not to mention there's guys like Rajon Rondo getting injured and guys opting out and not choosing not to play. It's just so much that's taking place that the NBA has to deal with. I'm going to read some of these reports that are coming out of Orlando from some of the best uh, NBA reporters in the nation. Let's go to Sham Sharanya, who says Michael Beasley tested for coronavirus. He left. He's off the Brooklyn Nets, it looks like. Multiple tips have been placed into the NBA's anonymous hotline to report protocol violations on campus that's what some of the sources are saying out of Orlando and that and that is very interesting see because you see the term snitching you see guys getting snitched on and snitching happening and I think they're being lenient I think they're being lenient for players and I say that after a guy for this uh, Sacramento Kings walked outside the hotel room to get Postmates, and he had a quarantine for 10 days. He's still under quarantine right now. And even with that, I still believe the NBA is being lenient because all the guys aren't down there yet. But once all the guys get down there, all the teams, all the uh, faculty and staff, and once the games get going, I don't think any of this nonsense will be taking place. And it's going to be very tough because what if Kawhi Leonard walks outside his hotel room or outside the, the hotel premises during the playoffs, right? Or LeBron James or Anthony Davis or Giannis, right? Or what if one of them gets coronavirus? Because obviously there's guys in the bubble that are testing positive for the virus. And that is what makes me so skeptical and so, you know, like just worrisome about whether we'll be able to, I definitely believe we'll be able to start it, but whether we'll be able to complete the NBA season. I mean, this virus isn't going anywhere. And Florida is like the worst place in the world. It's like the epicenter for COVID-19. And that's where these players are at, right? And obviously they can't leave, but the staff and faculty aren't sleeping on Disney World, you know, on ESPN campus. You know, these guys are still going out and living in the state of Florida and interacting with friends and family or whatever they do when they're not working at the campus. Right. So and we're talking about out in their world in Florida, which is the epicenter for the coronavirus right now. So it is it is going to be super interesting. I don't want to be pessimistic, but I'm not so sure that we'll be able to complete this NBA season. Now, obviously, we want to we want to crown a champion. And for the players, besides being crowned champions or, or finding out whether it's Milwaukee, the Clippers or the Lakers, because it's really only those three will win the championship. You have to complete the season or your CBA gets ripped up, right? Like if you don't complete this season, your CBA gets ripped up and all those contracts that are guaranteed right now won't be, right? They won't owe you anything on those. And so therefore you have to, or you have to at least try to attempt to complete the season. But at the end of the day, the safety of the players, families, and staff of the everybody involved is what's most important. And, and, and just with the way this COVID-19 pandemic is paying Plan, like panning out, I'm not so sure we'll be able to complete the season. It's so crazy. Just all the reports that you see, uh, guys getting it, guys contracting it. Russell Westbrook, James Harden haven't even made it down to the bubble because they got COVID-19 in their homes, you know, and they're back in Houston. Uh, you guys got guys getting it, testing positive that are inside the bubble, that are leaving to go back home. It's just so you have guys, like I said, opting out, choosing not to play for different reasons, whether they've had COVID-19 or currently have COVID-19 or have small children or things that they're not trying to bring that stuff back into their families. It's just so crazy right now. And, and we're going to try to play a sports league. And, and I really want it to happen. I want it to be successful. I want no, no hiccups, no nothing. But as we're learning more and more reports and more and more things happening in the world, it's going to be very tough. Adam Silver, uh, Chris Paul, the NBA, PA, all the players, they have a tough task on their hand trying to complete, compete and finish this season. You let me know your thoughts on the NBA season. Do you think they'll be able to play? Do you think they'll be able to finish 
uh, during the, this timeline that they've set that le runs through October. Once again, my name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. with the Ball Sports Network. You can continue to like and subscribe our videos. Hit the thumbs up button, share, retweet everything, and we'll see you next time.